honey. I turn around on her. So I freak out. Who do I call? Not 911. I call my mother. What up, y'all? It's your girl, Flower Child Faye. How y'all doing? What up, bud? How you doing? So, man, I'm sitting in my car, button and warm up or whatever, right? So, I just wanted to go ahead and tell y'all about the disaster that I experienced last night. So, I'm not, like, Chef Boy or Faye or nothing. Like, I know I'm, I'm at, like, rookie stage of my cooking. I don't even want to say beginner, like, because beginners even know what the hell they're doing. But me, me, shorty, I still call my mom and figure out what needs to go with what. I call my friend Erica, see how long I need to put shit in the oven, how long, how hot. I'm one of those. So, so man, last night, y'all. I had everything ready. I was doing it the right way. I was gonna make me some pasta. So I could go ahead. I cut up my um my turkey sausage. I got it frying on the pan. I got my I got my um water boiling. Cool. Keep pay attention to that, okay? My water's boiling. I got my uh bell peppers cut up ready. Cool. I'm about to go ahead and make my garlic sauce. My little garlic alfredo sauce. Yo, dead ass. How did I get scared out of my mind last night, bruh? The fucking stove burnt through my fucking pan. Brand new pan. I literally just bought it from Walmart last night. About 40 minutes before I started cooking. Went to Walmart to go get it. To go cook. And, you know, I might have a, a picture inserted somewhere or I even have a little video clip it of, of the damn pan. It has a whole hole in there. Like, I turn around, I get everything together. I'm about to start going ahead and melting my stuff. My butter, sour cream, and heavy whipping cream. Not sour cream, my uh butter, my butter, my uh, cream cheese, and my, my heavy, uh, heavy whipping cream. Honey. I turn around on her. So I freak out. Who do I call? Not 911. I call my mother. Whole three states away and guess who give a fuck? Not I. Because that's going to be my saving grace. That's the lady that I need to talk to. I need to know what I'm doing wrong. She was like, maybe your pants jerk. And I showed her the brand thing. She was like, oh, no. I don't know. I was like, right. This is weird. Like, it's my first time using a stove top. And it's, it's, it's a oven, stove, whatever is different than the one I got at home. So, I'm not used to this. So, it's like, all right, cool. So, I'm, like, traumatized. The smoke detector is going off. Bam, bam, bam. Fire. Fire. There ain't no fire. I heard my, my upstairs neighbor open her door up. And walk outside and I'm like, oh, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. Let me go ahead, boop, pop that battery on up out of there. Long story short, my mom walked me through how to make some gumbo. <laughs> out of all the ingredients that I already had ready. Um, I had to throw my mix away, throw my pot away, and um, you know, um, I had to sit down because I was a little um little shooken up. Wasn't expecting that. Thought I was about to burn the whole apartment down. Talk about stress. Mm -mm -mm. But y'all, I was terrified. Real talk, I was terrified. And so, like, man, I told my mom, I said, see, this is what I'm talking about. I don't think I'm even meant to be cooking. So, wherever my future husband is, I hope you a good cook, because, baby. Either you're going to have to be home with me so you can monitor my, my kitchen activities or you just going to have to do my chef. And, I mean, I tip you most definitely. Most definitely. 
but I ain't gonna be too long. That's all I want to y'all. Uh, stay blessed, stay happy, stay clear of COVID. <laughs> nah, uh, I'll see y'all later, buds.